Okay, so we're gonna think of this as if we work for Spotify or Apple Music or Google Play, whichever one, right? And we're gonna think, hey, our manager came in and said, hey, we need a, a website that basically people can select the best albums from Rockefeller, right? And they get to choose which ones to download. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down into multiple steps. And we're gonna say, first of all, what exactly do we want to do? We want to select the album. So click album, right? We click an album. Then we want to show the user that he selected that album. Selected album. So we add a class to the album div, right? All right, so we add that class. Okay, so then that's selected. Then from there, but that's only visually. It hasn't been really selected yet because we haven't done anything with JavaScript. So then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to add an array. Well, create an array and then add the album we selected to that array. So add the title, the album's title we selected to that array. So we're basically going to create an array and whatever album we click is going to be added into that array. Right now, let's see what else. Uh, we got one, two, three, four. Okay, so then we got four albums. What else we want to do after that is done? They select whatever albums they want. We have a total. Okay, we're gonna do this find out the total of the albums selected all right and then what else we're gonna come here and we're going to that's it for the user that's it that's done we're gonna actually click save so save button is clicked Right, save button is clicked. Then when it's clicked, when it's clicked, show notification with album. Well, with saved items total. total and let's see save button is clicked then when it's clicked show notification with saved items total okay that's it it seems pretty simple it shouldn't be that hard at all but to break it down again let's see what happens we click the button we'll click on the album right and then that album gets selected so we show the user he selected the album. So we add the class selected to the album div. So it shows that, that little blue background, right? Create an array, then add the album's title we selected to that array, All right? We can do that. And then from there, what else? Find out the total of the album selected. And then what else? Save button is clicked. Then when it's clicked, show notification with saved items. That's it. All right, so we can move on to the next step, which is starting to code this. All right, remember this. We're doing this with plain JavaScript. Nothing else, nothing crazy, just pure vanilla raw JavaScript. All right, see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again. 
Guys, this video that you just saw is actually part of my course, Future Proof JavaScript. Listen, guys, you're gonna learn JavaScript the right way, the money way, the easy way, the way that you're going to understand it. I know you tried Team Treehouse, I know you tried Udemy, I know you tried YouTube, it's fine. But you guys know me, y'all know how I do. Basically, nobody's gonna explain JavaScript the way that I do. And I'm making it easy for anybody who wants to get better with JavaScript or people who are just starting from scratch, right? So you have the course here, man. Check it out. Not only go from codingface.com, but you will go directly from the link that's on my description, which will give you a 50% off automatically. 50% off original price, right? And if you're really, really smart with it, you will actually do the all access pass right for ten dollars right <laughs> and that's what i would do man for ten dollars get access to all the courses you can't go wrong guys all right so i'll see you guys around